Sea surface temperature. This particular one is a sea view shot, and it's also got the temperature contours laid over. Uh, this is not one of the free shots. Uh, the motor shots that I've got are 1.3 kilometers per pixel. The sea view shots, like this one, is 0.6 kilometers per pixel. A little better resolution. Also, we've also got a little algorithm here that outlined the features for you. A nifty little thing. You just got to make sure that you open up the same timestamps on both of them. Make sure that you open up contours that go with that particular shot. Clean water, dirty water. Spanish fishing. That's all we're doing right there. Alright? All we're doing. We got dirty water coming out the inlet. We got clean water on the outside. We're looking for the break between the two of them. Now, is that break 61 to 62? Or is that break 68 to 73? It's according to what species you're fishing for and according to what time of year. Early in the spring, out here Wahoo fishing, it's probably, what was it, Tom, two weeks ago? 72. 72, what was it on the inside? Probably 66, 67, 64. 64 on the inside. So you have a really hard break right there, bashed up. In the heat of the summer, it's all about tenths of degrees. You know what I mean? Where in the wintertime, you get those really hard breaks. Either way, all we're looking for here is clean water, dirty water. Where's the break at? You know, is that break a, a tenth of a degree, or is that break three degrees? Well, it's according to what time of year it is. Okay. In the wintertime, you're going to always have much, uh, uh, much harder breaks that you're going to have in the heat of the summer. In the heat of the summer, it all becomes about tenths of degrees and two tenths and three tenths of a degree. If you don't have a temperature gauge on your color scope, all of you do have color scopes, right? If you don't have a temperature gauge on your color scope, you definitely need one. Back in the back in the day. I actually used to have one of those glass thermometers like you used in uh, uh, science class when you were a kid. I know mean, some of you young guys, y'all look at me like, who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those old guys there. We had these big glass thermometers, tie a string to it and drop it over the side. They ain't worked. You know? <laughs> that was before digital readouts and cool stuff like that. Um, you're looking for the right temperature range for the species that you're looking for. Uh, change is key. You know, right back to the dirty water, clean water thing. Look for re rips, weed lines. You know, uh, these rips, where, where, where these things change, that's what's going to hold the weed. That's what's going to hold things that are floating in the ocean and stuff like that. Anybody have any questions about SSTs?